about 147. Let's go to Michael Buffer. To the official weigh-in for the last night's big fight here at the MGM Grand of Las Vegas. It's the main event tomorrow night, brought to you by Tom Frank Incorporated and MP Promotions. First on to the scale from Palm Springs, California. His record, a perfect one. 28 fights, 28 victories, including 12 knockouts. He is the challenger, and he is the undefeated light welterweight champion of the world, Timothy Desert Storm Adley. On the scales, the undefeated light welterweight world champion, Timothy Desert Storm Bradley. One hundred forty-six pounds. And next up on the scales, his professional record: fifty-four victories, thirty-eight knockouts. Undefeated for seven consecutive years. Eight times a world champion from Saragani Province, Philippines, the reigning WBO welterweight champion of the world, Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao. 147 pounds for the reigning and defending WBO champion, the Pac-Man, Manny Pacquiao. Emmanuel Stewart, uh, Bradley's body looks sensational. Pacquiao also looked good. I guess Timothy Bradley's muscular physique shows us that the vegan diet works. You don't necessarily need meat to build and, muscle coming into the fight. And can you believe that this guy, the way he's cut now, was making six pounds less than that for the last three or four years, which is really amazing. But, but I, I think he's a big guy that just sweated down to get to that weight. But it's amazing to see that how he could have ever fought lighter than that. They both look in excellent condition. He appears to have put on a lot of muscle in the shoulders and the chest. I think we can suspect that his legs will be very strong as well. Yes, he's going to be very, very strong physically all the way around. He's been doing physical training and lifting weights since he was about eight years old. All right, so they both weigh in at or just under the 147-pound limit. Bradley's moving up to fight at 147 for the second time in his career. But Emmanuel Stewart, you pointed out to me that when you look at his amateur career, he's actually the naturally larger man. I definitely figure he's a larger man. In his amateur career, I know from 2002, 3, and 4, he was fighting at 156 and 152. And fighting on the top level was physically a muscular guy then. And you look at Manny, it's like eating to get up to 147. Whereas, you know, Manny in the past fight for the last few years, he would eat four or five meals a day and eat before the weigh-in to barely make 144. So I think naturally, even though they both weigh close to the same, I think that Bradley is physically a bigger guy. He's been fighting a bigger weight division. And I think being able to eat for the first half has made him struggle. And the fact that he wears a size 12 shoe even. Bradley's 28. When Pacquiao was 28, he fought at 130 pounds. Let's go down to Max Kellerman now with both fighters. Manny, just now when you stared down, Tim was very serious. You were smiling. Why? I'm just smiling. What's that? I'm smiling. Why are you smiling? Well, I'm happy. I'm happy with, with this, uh, God is with me. Why do you think he was so serious? I don't know. <laughs> you told me yesterday that 
Bradley reminds you of you when you were his age, young, hungry, up and coming. How do you beat a guy like that? Well, uh, we'll see in tomorrow. No specifics? I will give you an idea tomorrow. <laughs> Manny, you're drawing more fans now for weigh-ins than most fighters draw for fights. What do you want to say to these people who show up for your weigh-ins? Uh, I want to thank uh, to all the fans. Uh, first, I want to thank God for uh, the strength that he gave it to me today and a good health. And I want to thank all the fans who came here to uh, show the support. And I see you tomorrow on the fight. Do you think that your experience in these kind of situations with all the lights and the fans helps you here? Tim's never been in this situation. Well, um, uh, I'm so happy because uh, we're here now and on the way in and tomorrow is the fight. Thanks, champ. Tim, you were mean mugging him during the stare down. You look very serious now. Why? I'm ready, to, I'm ready for war. I'm ready for war. It don't matter. It don't matter getting the booze. It don't matter. I've been here before. But you haven't been in this situation before. What's this like? None of these people in here is going to be in the ring. And none of these people in here is going to be in the ring with Manny Pacquiao. It's just going to be me and Manny at the end of the night. I imagine part of dreaming of a super fight is dreaming of this kind of attention. Do you have any reaction to it at all? Doesn't bother me at all. At all. Bring it on. The more the merrier, baby. I'm set out to prove everybody wrong, baby. Not everybody, Tim. There are people in the media picking you and upsets in the air among kind of boxing insiders. Why do you think that is? Because they know how hungry and determined I am, baby. Look at my physique, baby. Look at how I look. I trained extremely hard for the fight. And they're going to see tomorrow, baby, why I belong at this level. Thanks, Tim. Jim? All right, thanks very much, Max. Emmanuel, baby, let's take a look at your <laughs> keys to victory for both fighters now. And uh, starting with Tim Bradley, who is obviously so determined and pumped up, what must he do to win the fight? I know this sounds a little confusion offhand, but he has to put a lot of pressure on Manny uh, and then still be in a position to counter punch a lot after Manny misses and gets off balance, which he does often, as Mark here is exposed. And Manny is such an anxious fighter that he punches with so much intensity, oftentimes he gets his legs crossed. And he has to try to gradually wear Manny down by making Manny fight in the times when Manny likes to dance around, do his little Mike Tyson kind of bob and weave. He needs to put pressure, make Manny fight then and not have that rest. And be prepared going down the stretch. Because Manny wins a lot of his fights by coming on and really fighting hard the last two rounds. And he's got to be prepared to match him punch for punch. It's a great point. In fact, if Juan Manuel Marquez had won the 12th round on the Dave Moretti scorecard in the fall, that fight would have been a draw. It became, in effect, a one-point Pacquiao win, and I think he won it because he continued to pursue and pressure and throw punches all the way to the end of the fight when, as you pointed out, Marquez took his foot off the gas in well, the last three rounds. What must Manny do to win the fight tomorrow night? For Manny to win the fight tomorrow night, Manny, first of all, got to punch with full authority when he punches. You know, he's not going to hit Bradley as easy as everybody seems to think. He's got to continue the way he used to when he first came on the scene, punching through his target, not landing to the target. And he's got to make sure that after his combinations, he don't go straight back. Because he gets out of balance a lot and he goes straight back. If he does that, Bradley's going to come right to him and catch him after he finishes his combination. And that is means don't stop looking and admiring your work after you throw your punch. Because Bradley will still be there. And going down the stretch, he's better be prepared. Because I think it's going to be a long fight. And not get wrapped up in all this hype that's going on. He's going to run out and knock Bradley out right away. Be prepared for a long, tough fight. We've got about one minute left. There's a widespread perception among boxing writers and other media that the new Manny Pacquiao, a guy who smiles during the stare down and wants to project love to everybody, isn't going to be nearly as violent a fighter in the ring. When a guy makes a change in his personal life, does it also show up in the ring? I think in this case, it may be, because, you know, he's it's very passive. I even looked at the way he spoke tonight. What made Manny Pacquiao was that animalistic type intensity for that, much like Mike Tyson. Take that away, you're taking away one of his biggest assets. And I think I see a little bit of that uh, uh, leaving out of the door. And then his mind is so spread out over so many other things. Serious about his Congress job, uh, big TV series, all his energy is all over the place. So he, he can't be that way fighting a guy like Bradley. He's got to be very focused. You care to pick a winner? 
you can't pick a winner? I, really, you know, I have a slight edge almost almost on a Bradley, but I can never go against Billy Manny because Manny has been the heart of boxing for the last 10 or 12 years. This man is character sport. So, I mean, I could never go against him, but I cannot get too excited about Manny just knocking him out like everyone else sees him. I say it's a tough fight. All right, thank you, Emmanuel. This is just the beginning. Earlier in the show, we invited you to predict the result of Pacquiao Bradley on our HBO Boxing Facebook poll. Let's take a look at how those results stand at this very moment. Pacquiao, the winner in the minds of 82% of you who have responded to the poll. The poll will stay open until the first bell of Pacquiao Bradley tomorrow night. So if you have not already participated in the poll, we urge you to do so now. That wraps up our coverage of today's weigh-in. If you missed any of 24-7 Pacquiao Bradley, we will replay the first three episodes tonight, beginning at 6.30 p.m., leading up to the premiere of the series finale at 8 p.m. Join us on HBO2 tomorrow from 4 to 8 p.m. Eastern for unprecedented Pacquiao Bradley free fight coverage. At 8 p.m. Eastern, switch over to HBO's main channel and join me, Max Kellerman, and Emmanuel Stewart for Fight Day Now, a one-hour program packed with guests, interviews, features, and in-depth analysis. It all leads up to the highly anticipated showdown between Manny Pacquiao and Tim Bradley coming to you live tomorrow night on HBO Pay-Per-View. So now on behalf of Max Kellerman, Emmanuel Stewart, and the entire HBO Sports team, I'm Jim Lampley saying thanks for watching, everybody. This has been a presentation of HBO Sports.